Hello, everybody. My name is Jacob, aka Jacoby04, coming at you with some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wilderness on the Wii U. And that was some weird climbing I just did, but I did it anyway. Let's head on out. So I am continuing my, uh, in this episode, my upgrade barrage. Um, I got the Master Sword. If you missed the last last episode, you should go watch it. Um, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You see this? You see this? Alright, done with that. Um, in addition, I have three more hearts, which is why I was able to get the Master Sword. Um, and then I have... Um, those are the only things I really have. Oh, more co weapon slots. Uh, I got one more weapon, one more shield, one more bow. Um, so now I gotta keep saving up Korok Seeds for more weapons, because that's really all I ever run out of. Um, I think eight bows is more than enough, because I'll never have the arrows to support that. Um, so I'm good. Good to go. You know what I should do sometime? Color some clothes. Maybe I should do that real quick while I'm here. Um, so now I'm doing some more upgrades. The main thing I'm going to be looking at is purchases this time, because I don't have any more, like, of my special items to, uh, give me upgrades, per se, to my character and my inventory. Um, so instead I'm looking at getting maybe some new armor from a store, because I kind of always forget that you can buy armor, which is, like, clothing, you know, the most important, one of the most important things. Um, likewise, I always forget that you can buy... Or, I, I, I don't always forget this. Likewise, I need to go and get some new upgrades for the clothes that I do have. Look at this. Why do they allow you to buy things if you already have them? I feel like I would mess that up. You know what I mean? I feel like I would very likely mess that up. Champions to them. So I think I have all of the... I have the... Let me sort this. Nope. Nope. Hylian, Hylian, Hylian. So I have all three Hylian tunics already. I don't have any of these ones, though. These are pretty sweet. Look at that. Soldier's helmet. Uh, soldiers and soldiers. I don't think I have any of them. Do, do, do. But I'm not really interested. You know what I'm interested in? Uh, oh, a warm doublet. I think I already got one of those. Yes. That's actually what I'm interested in, though. Warming clothes. Um, and we saw that I, there were some of those at the Rito Village. So I might be making a trip over to uh, Birdland. Young man. Over here. Hello. What great weather. The East Wind General Store is open, and it's just as lively inside there as it is out here. Right when she said what nice weather, a cloud passes overhead. I don't know if that's a sign or something, but um, I need your arrows. Oh. I'll take them all. Yep. I, I always need arrows. I always run out because I always waste them on goats. But there's no way to win the great uh, goat or war without using some without using some arrows. So, really, I just understand war more than anybody. Um, if that makes sense. Ellie knows what I'm talking about. Right, I understand war. I just realized that the arrows actually sit on my butt when I have my bow equipped. And that they don't if I don't, um, which is cool. I have so many good bows right now. Like, usually I try to use the bad ones and save the good ones, but no. now I'm just under good bows. Yeah? I want to do a look at something that's gone now. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Oh, do, okay. Do, do. Um, do you sell any more individual arrows oh. if I talk to you? Man, this guy's scary looking. Ooh. Looks like he wants to eat my soul. Oh, he only has things for sale on display. <laughs> I want to buy something. Well, go buy it then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's basically what he's got for me. Which is hilarious. I have so much meat after the round of the Goder Wars. I have 46 pieces of raw meat. 
Wow. That's great. I should do cooking between episodes again sometime. Not right now. We've got enough standing around going on. Uh, let's go maybe dye some clothes real quick. Great way to spend all my hard-earned rupees. Not rubies. Rupees. Uh, I'd like to change my Zora legs from my climber's body. I think it's finally time to change my headband. Actually, I'm going to keep... Yeah, I want to change my headband. I guess I'll keep the Zora legs the same. Um, I'll change the Zora body. And what what legs do I want to change? I guess the only other change legs to change are my... I'll keep my leg matching my headband instead of my body. How about that? Everybody okay with that? Cool. This guy always makes the puns. I love him. Uh, welcome. If you're looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. Who do you do? Hugh. Not who. Wow, that was bad. So I'm finally going to recolor my headband. It's been this way for quite a while. Um, choose a color. What color do you think, Ellie? You got a preference? Requests? Ooh. I like that. Crimson? Yeah. Ooh, kinda like that. Nice too. Or the purple. Yeah, that's cool. I'm kinda digging the purple. Yeah. I've, Cause I've been rocking light blue. Navy's not bad either. The white's not bad either, actually. I like the white or the purple. Let's try the purple, see if I have the ingredients even. I do. All you need is rush rooms. I have quite a few of those. You also just need some monster guts. I don't use those as much, so how about I use a bunch of monster guts? 20 rupees, always a bargain from you, Sage. Here we go. Wow, that actually sounds a lot like here when you say it like that. Look at that. Purple looks great. Great stuff. All right. So I gotta go back to my clothes. So usually I wear my climbing gear as I because I because climbing is useful. Um, but otherwise, for battles, I actually tend to change to my barbarian armor. Um, all right. So I'm always so hesitant about buying clothes because I don't know. I don't know, like, if I'll get some of them. A little sleeper. A little pupper's sleeping right here. Here, I'll, I'll give you guys a peek of him. He's sleeping. We'll let him sleep. There he is. There that little guy is. Okay. Sorry. Back to the let's play. <laughs> I just had to. Copper's getting old, so I like to put him on uh, cameras pretty much whenever I get the chance. Um, okay, so I'm going to go over to the Zora's Domain because... Uh, where's Zora's Domain? This map is so filled with crap these days. Um, my fault. Right there. To see if they have... Because this would be a good example of... I remember having to find all this gear at various chests. So I don't know if they have any gear for sale themselves. Um, but I want to take a look, really. And then I'll go over to the dude up in, like, north, the northeast Akala region that sells, like, the ancient gear. See if he's got anything that I want. And then I'll start taking a look at the fairy. So I'm sorry, this is going to be two episodes in a row of mostly just running around upgrading. But then after that, we'll get it. We'll dive further into uh, running for stuff, doing things. But I kind of think we knew this was coming after all those many episodes of exploring and gathering. So, I like the purple. This is a nice change of pace. Hello, Mifa. I missed the Zoro's Domain. It was so fun when I was here before. Oh, 
Oh, maybe it'll have more arrows for me to buy here, too. It's not a bad thing, right? Um. Oh, there's a guy that wants to talk to me. Hey, Hylian, do you th I think that you were able to appease Ruda. You turned out to be a pretty incredible lag. In fact, I wonder if you can do this, too. Exterminate the Hynox by Rallus Pond. Sure. Okay, in that case, give it a try. For he who saved the domain, it should be a piece of fish cake. Go on, I'm counting on you. I'm not going to do that right now, but I'll do that eventually. Even more side quests. Jido. Mm, Link, it seems that I was wrong about you. Seeing Divine Beast Varuta's from there, even though we lost Lady Mipha, it seems that she can still help you fight against Planet again. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry, I did not introduce myself sooner. I am Giotto. I'm a historian who studies Zora history, you don't say, and preserves it for future generations. Hmm. Even so, this stone monument that King Dorofin supposedly wrote, it's torn to pieces now. Most likely, the ten stone monuments outside the domain are in the same awful condition. I'm thinking about collecting contents of all the stone monuments and compiling them into a book. But with these old legs and things, traveling to all ten stones would take a great deal of time. You want me to run around and do a fetch quest? How dare you? That is why, Link, I'd like to ask a favor of you. Find all ten stone monuments and tell me what they say. Okay. Thank you. You truly are a lifesaver. How reassuring that the champion will search for these monuments for me. I have it on good authority that among the stone mountains, one has the location of some treasure written on it. If you find said treasure, keep, feel free to keep it. It will most likely be something that Azora wouldn't need. I already found that. Yes, you'll find the ten stone monuments around Zora's domain. Blah, blah, blah. Another side quest! There's a lot of side quests. It's so cool. Like, this game has so much crap in it. You know, you, you finish up the main story, and then they're like, uh, dude, you want to do this? Hey, you want to do that? Well, but what about this? Okay, let's go do that. And it's like, guys, guys, please, one at a time. Um, there's only so much I can handle. Well, hello, King Dorfin. His name kind of sounds like a funny way of saying dolphin. King Dorfin. Hey there. Arrows. I'll take them all. <laughs> I know, I'm wasting all my money on arrows. Sue me. It's cool that they sell ice arrows in the Zoro's domain. You sell any clothes here? Nope. This is a guy that can remake the spear for me, right? Yeah. What? You don't know about Death Mountain. On a sunny day, you can see the volcano from anywhere in Hy mm -hmm. Hyrule. Us Gorons eat rocks, you know, so it's really comfortable for us to live around Death Mountain. Is okay. there something else you want to know? More about Death Mountain. Oh, no, don't tell me the same thing. Ugh. I'm trying to figure out where I find the guy to get me a suit so I can go to Death Mountain, because I really want to do that Divine mm -hmm. Beast as my next one. I was hoping this guy could tell me something useful. You are here. What do you need? The light scale trident. Sword spear, one diamond, and five pieces of flint. Okay. We are here. What do we need? A ceremonial trident. You do not have it in your possession, but I can sense a ceremonial trident still in this world. If you have entrusted it to someone, there's one thing. But if not, I must strongly suggest you locate it. I have no idea where to find that, but I really wish I could because that just sounds sweet. Um. You can't drop the Master Sword once you get it. Probably for the best. I just realized I haven't probably taken a picture of this guy. Oh, I have. Okay. Uh, I think I've taken a picture of everything in here then. Okay. Well, they didn't have clothes. Did they have clothes on the other side? Oh, I'm glad I can talk about that. Hi again! You're really friendly, I guess. You're an inn. Not a store. They must not have a clothes store here in uh, this area. What is this? 
sweet looking weapon. I want that. I can drop something for that, I'm sure. I have so many good weapons right now. It's just crazy. I'll drop this war hammer I picked up earlier. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a good choice. Good choice, Jacob. Hey, I actually managed to pick up a crab for once. Okay, well, let's keep moving, because I want to wrap this up this episode. I really do. So, let's move it, Jacob. Chop, chop. Oh, I shouldn't snap. Copper hates snapping. Sorry, Copper. This is going to sound really morbid, Ellie, but I wish bodies took longer to despawn in Black Ops 3. It takes away from the immersion when they disappear so quickly. Yeah, but think about how many bodies there would be. I know. It's a Twitch shooter, so there's bodies constantly. But still. Hello, little Robbie. Yes, I need things. Why are you... I already know who you are. Oh, do I talk to the ancient oven? Alright. I don't want ancient arrows, although I'm sure they're probably, like, the bomb. <laughs> Parts and labor. Man, this sucks. <gasps> I finally have enough parts to make any of the ancient outfits. Hmm, that's awesome. Oh my goodness. I'm sure the best one would be to get the body first. Oh. Actually, you know what I'm going to get first if I do this? I know this might sound dumb, but I think I'm going to do the legs. You want to know why I'm going to do that, everybody? The reason is, out of bodies, I have two viable combat choices already. I've got my champion's tunic, and I've got my barbarian armor. Attack up, or just really high defense. Um, and being able to see people's health, obviously. Um, the Zoro armor isn't actually that terrible either. Um, so... And as for helmets, I have the Barbarian Helmet for Attack Up, which is already level 2. Um, I also have the Diamond Circlet for Guardian Resist Up if I want that, which means that... But for legs, all I have is Zora, which doesn't give any special combat abilities. Hylian Trousers are both upgraded twice already, which is good, but they don't offer anything more. Um, so I'm really thinking that my best bet would be legs. I think I might buy that. I don't know. What do you think, Kelly? Sure. Or should I save my money for something? It's 2,000 rupees to get it. What else are you going to spend your money on? <sighs> well, there was one other option. Let me go fast travel there quick. Everybody's going to hate me because I'm doing a bunch of fast traveling, but that's okay. I'm going back to the Rito Village. Because... They might have my other out outfit. So I could go for a good outfit for fighting. Or I could go for a good outfit for exploring the world more. To getting to the places I need to go. Um, bit of a contrast there for sure. Unfortunately, I guess I could, if I wanted, just sell a bunch of gems. And, you know, go from there. Because I've got a lot of gems to sell. Ellie, you were all sorts of surrounded there. Mm. 
My youngest daughter, Kiel, wants to go to Warbler's Nest. She won't stop talking about it. I have five daughters, and ever since that beast appeared, they've been getting meatier by the minute. At times like this, I wish he was around. I wish I could be a kid again and think only of myself. But that thing, that is the thing about being a parent. You have to be bigger than your children. Oh, that's, that's some deep words right there. Wow, the whole time I tried climbing up to the shrine, there was a bridge to it? I'm an idiot. Found a new bow. <laughs> Take it, not like I can use it in my condition. What's the matter? No offense, but this is not your concern. The cursed monster. Wow. So this village is being, uh, Sabotaged by that dude. I'm not really here yet to start this quest line still. I'm just here to buy some clothes, guys. Okay, Ellie, this might be one last 30 minute episode. Just so I can wrap up all this upgrading in one. Sorry, everybody. Or should I wrap it up and continue upgrading in the next one? Is, is that your, uh... I'm worried about your timer. You are worried about my timer. Let me take a talk to this guy. Hey, thanks for coming out so late. Brazen Beak is open 24 hours. What can I do for you? Okay, so these are the cl other clothing options that I really was hoping to consider. Snow Quill Tunic. Uh, well, so I don't need the tunic. Because I already have a cold resistance thing. I have the... Uh, I could live with the warm doublet for cold resistance. But I could use some cold resist... Because then I wouldn't finally have to eat food for cold resist if I had three pieces of it. You know what I mean? That's my big alternative. But I think I'm going to do this. I think I want this over combat gear right now. I know that sucks. But I this won't cost me my ancient gear parts. It'll only cost me rupees. All my ancient gear parts will be there. So once I have more rupees... I can buy those clothes. The ancient gear parts are the tough stuff to get anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I'm doing it. Yep. Now, I think this will help me out quite a bit. A thousand rupees for my head resist. Holy butts. You're char charging me a wing and a beak here, bud. Alright. Well, everybody... I am going to stick to trying to wrap this up in about 20 minutes. I'll get better at this slowly. Um, maybe. Um, actually, I can buy a few more arrows. Yep, yep, let's buy a couple more arrows. I'll take all of them. Always. It's crazy how you guys all charge the same price. It's so convenient for travelers like me. It's just great. Um, okay, well, one more episode of upgrades. I don't plan on spending really anything more for rupees so all i'm gonna go do is see some more great fairies do some upgrading to my clothes and then i'm good to go really um because i've got my weapons i have my hearts used i have my koroks used i have my i have a whole bunch more armor than i did before my materials are still sitting pretty good my food's not terrible i'm only missing like seven things so i'm i'm just gonna run with it after this so thanks for watching uh next time fairies and probably heading into the Hebrew mountains now that I have some warm clothes. Bye-bye.